In the previous module, we masked a tree using one channel. In this module, we'll be using multiple channels in order to mask a tree. For this exercise, let's use data file tree.jpg. Once you've opened the necessary data file, double click on the channels panel. Tree JPEG is also an RGB picture and it's composed of three color channels, red, green, and blue. Each channel shows the amount of that color in the image on a grayscale. Again, we want to choose the channel that has the most contrast when comparing the tree to the rest of the image. Since the sky is fairly distinct from the tree and has a fair amount of blue tonal area, we're going to use the blue channel. Let's right click on the blue channel, then duplicate it. Let's rename this channel alpha. Then when finished, click on the OK button. The bark of the tree is a bit redder than the backdrop, so we're going to use the red channel as well. Let's right click on the red channel, then duplicate that channel. Click on the OK button. Let's turn the red copy channel on and turn the red channel off. Now let's start balancing the channels. Make sure that the red copy channel is selected, then click on the image menu. Scroll down to adjustments and select levels. Our goal is to make the tree bark very distinct from the background. In the previous module, when we were adjusting a channel, we used the shadow, highlight, and midtone slider. In this situation, we're going to show you how to manually type in the input levels. Let's click and select the first input levels and type in 50. Highlight the input level beneath the midtone slider and type in 0 0.85. And lastly, select the input level underneath the highlight slider and type in 222. When finished, click on the OK button. Now let's load this channel as a selection so that we can edit it further in the alpha channel. So with the red copy channel selected, and only its visibility turned on, click on the Load Channel as Selection button located at the bottom of the Channels panel. Afterwards, select the Alpha channel, click on the Image menu, scroll down to Adjustments, then select Levels. Now our goal here is to darken the white speckles in the bark area of the tree. So let's first select the input level underneath the shadow slider and type in 120. Then select the input level under the midtone slider and type in 1.2. We're going to keep the input level underneath the highlight slider at 255. When you're all finished, click on the OK button. Now we're ready to adjust the alpha channel. But before we do, let's click on the Select menu and click on Deselect. Now we're ready to adjust the Alpha channel. Let's go to the Image menu, scroll down to Adjustments, and select Levels once again. In the input level underneath the shadow slider, we want to type in 31. And in the input level underneath the highlight slider, we want to type in 145. Or if you'd like, you can manually adjust the shadow and highlight slider so that the tree is completely black and the background is completely white. When finished, click on the OK button. Again, we have to invert the tree in the background so that the tree is white and the background is black. Because remember, White means on and black means off, and we want the tree to be on. So let's click on the image menu, scroll down to adjustments, 
and select Invert. Now we're ready to load the tree. So with the alpha channel selected, click on the Load Channel as a Selection button underneath the Channels panel. Double click on the Layers panel, then right click on the background layer. Let's duplicate that layer, click on the OK button, and with the background copy layer selected, click on the Add Layer Mask button located on the bottom of the Layers panel. To see our mask, let's turn our background layer off. Now we still have to mask out the hill so that only the tree is remaining. So let's click on the layer mask located on the background copy layer. Then right click on the lasso tool and select polygonal lasso tool. We're going to make a rough selection of the hill by first clicking on the outside of the image and creating anchor points all along the border of the tree. Make sure to close your selection by clicking on the first anchor point. Then we have to go to the Edit menu and select Fill. And in the Fill dialog box, click on the Use drop-down arrow and select Black. Click on the OK button when you're finished. Now the only thing remaining is the tree. Let's go to the Select menu and deselect. Before we finish, let's refine our mask by double-clicking on the Masks panel. Click on the Mask Edge button and preview your mask against different backgrounds. Let's refine our mask against the black background and contract our mask. We can also change the radius and feather our mask as well. When finished, click on the OK button.